MS322 low volt AC stimulator operation. The patient leads should always be checked for proper connection and damage or deterioration prior to treatment. Loose connections or damaged cables can cause low stimulation output, no stimulation output, or sudden irregular increases in output, resulting in possible discomfort to the patient. The treatment site and electrodes should be cleaned and properly prepared prior to application of electrical stimulation to the patient. We recommend that you use Amrex conductance gel or Flextrode conductance spray and cloth covers to thoroughly moisten the treatment site and electrode surface prior to every treatment. In order to operate the MS322, you must first connect the power cord to the AC receptacle on the back of the unit and insert the power cord plug into a properly grounded AC receptacle. Rotate the intensity control knob to the zero reset position, enabling the audible click. The MS322 is equipped with an intensity reset circuit feature. This feature prevents the practitioner from applying one patient's intensity setting to another patient. Set the output mode control to tetanize. The intensity level should always be set while the device is in the tetanize mode. This will prevent unexpected surges of intensity during the initial patient setup in surge or pulsed modes. Prepare the pad electrodes and apply them to the patient. They may be held in place using retention straps or weight bags. Rotate the power timer knob and set it to the desired treatment duration. The stimulator on indicator light will illuminate. Slowly increase the stimulator intensity control to the desired output level or levels. If desired, select an alternate output mode of pulsation or surge and adjust the pulse surge rate control setting. The output rate indicator light or lights will reflect the output rate selected. The AC power will shut off and a bell will sound when the treatment duration is completed. To continue or extend the treatment duration, reset the power timer knob within 10 seconds of shutoff. To prematurely end the treatment, rotate the power timer knob counterclockwise to the off position. The AC power will shut off and a bell will sound. Thoroughly clean the pads with warm water and dispose of the used cloth covers after every treatment.